welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be part of my like gift guide series. I'm doing my gift guide, I'm doing a man's boy's gift guide starring Bradley, and then Today I am doing my wish list. I've never done one of these videos before, but I like watching these kind of like wish lists or like, well, it's the complete opposite, but anti hauls. I'm basically just talking about products you don't have and why or why not you want them to curate a little Christmas wish list that I can share with like my mom and my husband and whoever asks. It's like your own little gift registry. I definitely miss the registry part of getting married. So now I'm just carrying it into the holidays. This video is actually sponsored by ShopTagger. If you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me work with them before. I love ShopTagger. It is an amazing website and they have a new feature where you can share your list. So I actually made a list called my Christmas. My phone's upside down. <laughs> my Christmas wish list that I can share. I'll actually have it linked down below if you're interested, but this way I can share with family and friends. But if you are new to ShopTagger, it is basically a website and an app that allows you to curate lists of all of your favorite products from a lot of different websites and it will notify you or alert you when they go on sale. So it's kind of an amazing all in one place. You can put all of your items. I always say my two lists, well right now is my Christmas wish list and then my favorite product staples. Products that I use on a regular basis that I want to be alerted when they go on sale because I want to stock up when they go on sale. They also now alert you when things are back in stock, which I love. It's very simple to use. All you do is insert it into your browser. When you're shopping, you click the little S and then you add it to the list. You say when you want to be notified, you add it to whichever list you've created and voila. And then the email alerts just come in to let you know when things are on sale. It's as easy as that. But I think that the Christmas wish list gift list idea is great. You can share it and it's also a way for you to keep tabs on when things are on sale or your family to keep tabs on when things are on sale because things go on sale a lot this time of year. But yeah, anyways, let me pull up my Christmas wish list here. Now, to be honest, I don't really know what I want for Christmas. This last year was like the year of gifts because I got married and there's the shower, the bachelorette, my birthday just passed, like I don't really know what I want. So there's a few like certain things that I put on this list. Number one being the Cloud Perfume by Ariana Grande. This is weird doing a video where I don't have tangible things to show you, I'm just talking, but love the Ariana Grande scents. I've loved all of them except the last one. I didn't hate it, I just didn't love it. But I have tried this one on many times in store and it smells so so freaking good. I don't even know how to describe it. I think she is like marshmallow in all of her scents, but that makes them sound childish. They're not. I think they're very age appropriate, but just like that perfume smells heavenly. It would be like the perfect spring perfume coming out of the holidays. So that is probably number one or two on my Christmas wish list this year. I also really want those AirPods by Apple, which like, you know what I mean? Like the little headphones. At first I thought they were so dumb, but my mom got a pair and was like raving about them and I tried them on and they were really comfortable. We've done a lot of flying this year and I just think like they would be really great for flying. I love my Beats wireless headphones but on an airplane I kind of just want the little small things because they're easier to sleep in you know. So I just have an, a peaked interest in those this year. They're expensive but if you're looking for more a, a more expensive stocking stuffer I think that would be good for pretty much any person. Now I have some makeup -y items. I am lusting for some Charlotte Tilbury stuff. Number one being the airbrush flawless finish setting powder. I had it once upon a time but I had it in the wrong shade um, but I loved the use of the powder and Jessica Braun raves about it all the time. So I just really wanna try it. It only comes in three shades, so I'm definitely shade light. I had it in medium and it was just not, not happening. But I definitely wanna try that. And then when I was looking online for that, I found this Bar of Gold Highlighting Palette, which I will link, of course, the actual picture. And I have, before they discontinued, like the gold brick highlighter and I love it. And although I'm kind of over highlighting palettes, I think this one would be a really nice one and I'm just like, oh, I need it. I have added the Laneige Sleeping Mask to my Christmas wish list. I think it would be a good stocking stuffer. I have mentioned that my Dior Creme de Rose lip balm is out of stock and I can't get it anymore. And almost all of you have suggested me try the Laneige, is that how you say it? Lip Sleeping Mask. And I, a lot of my favorite YouTubers talk about it all the time, but it's apparently a really good overnight sleeping lip mask that does wonders for your lips and you wake up and it's still there so I would love to try that so regardless if I get it for Christmas or not I'm gonna be buying it at some point I am gonna be doing a Black Friday haul but you won't see this in it because I waited too long and it sold out but the naked heat petite heat palette 
is on my wish list. I think the colors are so fun. I'm definitely trying to weed out some of my palettes, but I love those mini naked palettes from Urban Decay. So I was upset I didn't get it for half off, but I put it on my wish list because I don't know. I just like, you know when you grow attached to things even though you don't have them and then you need them? That's what's happening. I have been eyeing this brush from Benefit for so long. This is the Hula Bronzing and Contouring Brush by Benefit. I've seen Casey Holmes use it most, and I just love the shape. I love the barrel of it. It's really pretty and the teal tips are cute, but I mainly am just so attracted to that shape. I don't know why, but I really want to try it. So I was like, hey, it's Christmas. Let's throw that on there. And I have just one more item. It's kind of a more accessories item. I don't really have, I don't have any clothes on my Christmas wish list, even though I should. I desperately need new clothes, <laughs> but that's kind of a more personal thing where I have to like try it on. I do have an accessory and I'll insert a picture in there, but it's these really cute Kate Spade earrings called Save the Date Princess Cut Studs and they're more of like a uh, square. You can turn them to make them look like a diamond. <laughs> wow, my words are not there. And I love Kate Spade earrings. They're so bright and vibrant and I usually buy them when I go to a Kate Spade outlet, which let me tell you, if you've never been to a Kate Spade outlet, it is so much fun and they have so many accessories on sale. The earrings are always like $20 or less, sometimes way less. Sometimes I get them for like eight bucks a piece, but I love Kate Spade earrings and those caught my eye. And since they're so new, they won't be at the outlet. So I just added them to my wish list. But yeah, guys, that is it. Um, I don't have much on my wish list. Wish list. Wish list. Like I said, I have so much stuff and I don't need anything, but it's just a fun little way to share what you possibly would want with your friends and family, especially for me. I am trying to declutter. I am trying to get rid of things. So it's not a season where I want to get a bunch of crap. I don't want as harsh as that sounds. So I mean, don't be afraid to be like, well, hey, I made this little wish list. If you really want to buy me a gift, here's this. And you can add things of any, any price. I feel like most of mine is like around $50, which that's kind of ballsy, huh? Well, no, I have some things around 20. Never mind. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out those other gift guide type videos, I will link them down here. And my face will be up here for subscribing if you want to catch more. Thank you again to ShopTagger for sponsoring this video. I will have this wish list down below as well as the website for you to check out. And yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Please let me know down below what's on your Christmas wish list, and I'll see you soon. Bye.